So the switch in my Black & Decker lawnmower melted uh, and unfortunately they don't sell replacement switches anymore for this model. So my idea was to replace it with a rocker uh, switch. So I drilled a hole in the handle here. Uh, that's where we're going to insert the new toggle switch and this is the switch itself. It must be DC and have at least 15 to 20 amps. I'll put a link in the description uh, for the switch itself that I bought off Amazon that's worked for me all summer. Now the original switch has two black wires which is the power. It's just a split cable so we can actually just tape one of those off. We're not going to use that. And then the other two is the red and the white. Uh, one of which turns the lawnmower on and the other one is for charging. So you're going to connect the black power cable to the center connection point and then the red and the white to the other outer connection points, one to each point. It doesn't matter which one you connect them to uh, as it will just be the on for the lawnmower or on for the charging of the lawnmower. A uh, warning is that this is going to override the orange handle safety feature. So your lawnmower is either going to be on or off. Uh, there's no safety feature anymore. This overrides it. So just be warned about that. Um, I don't advise doing this, but if you're looking for a hack, this is what there is to do at this point because Black & Decker will not provide the parts. Here I drilled the hole for the rocker switch to fit into the handle um, using a drill bit. And this is with the toggle switch inserted. This is a different switch than the one I'm recommending. This one burnt out on me because the amperage was not strong enough. And this is what it looks like with the switch installed. In my case, in this picture, uh, when the switch is pulled towards me or up, that's the charging mode. And if it's pushed down towards the lawnmower, that's the lawnmower will turn on. If it's in the center position off, it's not going to charge, turn on. It's just completely not connected at that point. So just make sure you figure out which way your switch goes for that. Um, you still have to put the safety key in for this to work. So you have to put the key in and turn it uh, for the lawnmower to turn on. That's about the only safety feature that's left on this. But the lawnmower should work for you fine afterwards. Uh, I actually found that the battery lasted longer on the lawnmower and I think this is due to a better connection with the switch than the one from Black & Decker. I used to have to charge between doing the front yard and backyard and now I can do both on a single charge even after 16 years of owning this lawnmower. I hope this video helps someone else out. It took a lot of work to figure out a hack for this and this has been working great for me and I hope they can help someone else out. Uh, but again, warning, you are overriding a, a major safety feature with the electric lawnmower, but it will work for you.